Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop. And Daria. And today we're making a cookies and cream gravity defying cake with a little surprise inside of it as well. I am starting with my regular chocolate cake recipe. I will leave it in the description box below. It's actually a recipe that I got a long time ago for perfect chocolate cupcakes from Glorious Treats. I definitely didn't notice that it said thin on the box in the store, but whatever. We're going to be crushing these up anyway and putting them into our Italian meringue buttercream. You can go ahead and look at the recipe down below, or I also have a full tutorial on how to make this buttercream, and I'll throw that up in the right-hand corner. I am just roughly crushing up these Oreo bits. If you want it to be really fine, then you can go ahead and throw this into your food processor. I did not use a specific amount of Oreos, I just kind of threw in however much I wanted. There really is no specific amount that you have to use. Leveling off my cake, making sure that knife kind of stays at the exact same angle, nice and flat, and then using my cake turntable to do the work for me. This is going to be a surprise cake for Father's Day, so I'm using a cookie cutter to take out a section out of this layer as well as another chocolate layer. I will also put the recipe for the vanilla cake that I am using down in the description below. The beauty of crumb coating this cake is it already has little bits of black in the buttercream, so you could really just do one layer. You want to avoid putting the buttercream inside of that hole because we're going to be filling it up with something else. My husband really likes putting things together, so I'm giving him a Home Depot gift card and I covered it several times in plastic wrap. The gift card didn't fit perfectly, so I did have to kind of ease it into the bottom of the cake, which is totally fine. Now I'm filling up the rest of the cake with these little cookies and cream crunchers. They smell delicious. Generously cover it up with some buttercream and then you're going to put the final layer of cake on top and crumb coat as usual. I have lots of videos of me crumb coating in real time, so you can go ahead and check one of those out. I will throw them up in the right hand corner. To create that gravity defying element, I am using a large wooden dowel that I got from the dollar store. Using Wilton's candy melts in bright white, I took that dowel and I covered it with the melted chocolate. Now this chocolate I did not add any vegetable oil to because I wanted it to be super thick and I wanted it to solidify fairly quickly. When you add vegetable oil to it, it does not solidify as quickly and then you will have difficulty placing any of these little cookie bits on it because it will just keep sliding off. This way it will make sure that everything solidifies pretty quickly. I am going to create my drip on the cake now, and now I have added a ton of vegetable oil to these candy melts. You wanna make sure it has that type of consistency if you don't want your chocolate going chunky when you drip it. Normally, I use a piping bag for this, but you guys know me, I really hate wasting piping bags for one job. So I'm kind of just using my spoon and creating a little pool at the very edge and letting it drip off naturally. The beauty of using really thinned out candy melts is that you get a really nice smooth finish. Time for Ari to come help. Since this cake is for Father's Day, I thought it was only right for Aria to come and help decorate the cake. This is a really great project for kids because it just uses candies and things and doesn't require a lot of fondant work or anything that is too difficult. Make sure when you are decorating with candy melts that you put on the decorations fairly soon after you've applied the chocolate or else none of your decorations will stick. We chose to dip a few of those Oreos in some of the candy melts, but you can really use whatever you want. I love decorating this cake.
You'll notice I'm not covering the whole dowel with all of those little cookies and cream bits because the bag itself is going to cover a lot of that up. This next part always looks so challenging in photos, but it's actually really easy. You just place the bag on top and it stays fairly nicely. This cake was actually really quick and easy for me to make, but it looks really, really cool. Just having that gravity defying element makes it really different. And having that surprise element will also delight your guests. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading daily, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. And make sure that you stick around to see what happened when my husband cut into this Father's Day cake. See you next week for all reattempts.